is Dylan here with the PeakBot team making a quick video to show you how to disconnect and reconnect your Schwab broker account from PeakBot. You need to do this once every seven days due to Schwab's API security. Essentially, all you're doing is resetting your access token manually. This is not something you need to do with other PeakBot broker partners. However, with Schwab, you need to make sure you're doing this every seven days. So maybe set a reminder on your phone or on your calendar. To get this done, go into your PeakBot account at app.usepeakbot.com. If you're already integrated with Schwab, you're going to click this integrated button, click disconnect. You'll be immediately then prompted to reconnect to your broker. So I'll select Schwab and click integrate. You'll then be brought to this screen where you're going to enter in your login credentials. Once you've entered your login credentials, you'll be taken to this screen, which is user terms and conditions, allowing PeakBot access to your account simply to place trades on your behalf. Please read the terms and conditions. Once you've done so, you can check this box, click continue and accept. You'll then be given the opportunity to select which of your Schwab accounts you would like PeakBot to integrate with. If you have multiple, make sure you're cl uh, clicking the correct one. If it's just one, it's perfectly fine. You'll then hit continue. And from here, you'll click done. And this will bring you right back into your PeakBot account, letting know that you have now successfully reconnected your broker and you're good to go. So again, just a reminder, make sure you're doing this once every seven days. The most ideal time to do this would likely be over the weekend or outside of open trading hours. Thanks so much.